Well, just a short time ago, New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez left a New York City courthouse after pleading not guilty to federal bribery charges. Prosecutors say Menendez and his wife were involved in a years-long bribery scheme leading to his indictment last Friday. Since then, more than half of his Democratic colleagues in the Senate have now called on him to resign. NBC's Lindsay Reiser joins us now from outside the courthouse here in New York City. Uh, Lindsay, walk us through what went down today. Well, they did not address the media or answer any questions as the senator and his wife left the courthouse. They entered earlier this morning holding hands, walking confidently into the room. And both they and the New Jersey businessmen who were also indicted pleaded not guilty today in court. One had previously pleaded not guilty yesterday. So they also got conditions for their release from the judge. And for Senator Menendez, that means a $100,000 bond. He has to surrender his personal passport. He can still travel internationally on official business, but he has to get permission ahead of time from pretrial services, or at least alert them. Can't have any contact with any of the co-defendants or witnesses in the case except for his wife. And he can't have any contact with any staff members on the Foreign Relations Committee who may have direct knowledge of the of facts of the case. Of course, he stepped down from his chairmanship of that powerful committee, but he has not stepped down despite numerous calls, growing calls for him to do so, Kate and Zinclay. From now, 30 Senate Democrats who are calling for him to resign from his Senate seat. When I was at, in Union City on Monday when the senator was holding a press conference, that number had only been one. It was John Fetterman of Pennsylvania. So that number has really grown in a couple of days. But on Monday, he was defiant. He said he would not step down today again, not addressing the media, Kate and Zinclay. I mean, Lindsay, clearly the pressure is mounting here. So where exactly does this case go from here? What happens next? Well, now we enter the discovery phase, so the judge ordered the prosecution to hand over elements that would be helpful to a defense. There's an initial conference date on October 2nd, uh, but also there's going to be a Senate lunch tomorrow, talking politically, not about the criminal case. Uh, there's going to be a Senate lunch tomorrow, and Senator Mark Warner confirms to NBC News that Senator Menendez is expected to speak at that. We know many senators uh, who have not called, uh, Democratic senators who haven't called for his resignation yet, said that they wanted to hear from him before they do so. Zinclay and Kate. All right, Lindsay Reiser, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.